whenever i ask somebody or whenever i see someone asking somebody dude why would you buy a samsung phone when there is a redmi or realme phone with better specs at a cheaper price the instant answer is Samsung has better brand value which means they offer better service well it's not like it's a universal truth or anything some experimenting has to be done but we can say one thing for sure Samsung definitely has a lot more service centers across the country the number is definitely higher they are a little more accessible for people living in tier 2 or tier 3 cities or smaller towns that's a fact but whether the service itself is good or bad or better than the competition we'll see how that goes a couple of years ago oneplus opened its first service center in here in chennai and uh, coincidentally i had just damaged my oneplus 7 pro screen uh, luckily i had bought it with a free screen replacement offer one time free re screen replacement offer so i took it to the service center and i also recorded the entire experience you can watch it here spoilers it was quite okay uh, i mean there were some uh, annoying situations uh, but overall it was an okay experience so right now we are heading to the samsung service center an authorized one Uh, it's about two, three kilometers away. So, yep. So basically, uh, the phone's display is damaged, and uh, as you know, it's a flagship phone, and it takes like what ten thousand, fifteen thousand rupees to replace it. I'm still not sure about the exact price. I think it's around fourteen thousand rupees. So it's not even a physical damage; it's something that, that's gone wrong internally. So there is no other option for me than to replace it, uh, get it replaced from the Samsung service center, even though it's quite expensive. I have to do it, but. in case uh, the rear panel got damaged even replacing that would cost around like 7000 8000 rupees which is pretty expensive in my opinion especially since it's a flagship phone but luckily we have these amazing skins from capes india so uh, you can just slap one of these amazing skins on it and it will be perfectly all right and the best part is it's just around 500 rupees Uh they have a lot of amazing skins for a lot of other devices as well uh, like the most recently launched OnePlus Nord Mi 10i Realme X7 X7 Pro and so on and of course it's not something you should buy only if your back panel is broken you can just buy it straight away because these days a lot of these phones come with very smooth back panels with they are they're very prone to fingerprints and smudges so with a skin on you can completely avoid those fingerprints and moreover it also helps protect the back from scratches and minor dings so do check out capes india link in the description you you can use the coupon code tjog to get 10% discount so uh, we are almost there uh, and before we go in i'll just uh, quickly explain about the problem basically this is my father's galaxy s10 plus uh he actually bought this uh exactly 2 years ago it's been really really good but suddenly uh, i don't know for the past 6 months uh he had been facing a lot of um, display issues and one fine day it just decided to go like this uh it's really really hard to see the content on the screen i'm sure it's almost impossible uh, so basically 2 to 3 days ago i called up um with this service center they said it will take around 3 to 4 hours to replace the display also before coming here i did a quick google search and went through all the reviews uh, on google apparently this is not a not the best service center uh, but yeah this is the closest uh, to my place so i thought uh, we'll just go check it out anyway it's an authorized service center it's supposed to be good that's exactly why i'm here like to to really get to know what the experience is like so let's let's go on yeah so that went reasonably smooth i would say uh i had to wait actually the thing is we were not allowed to shoot inside the service center so we did not get any footage that's the reason i'm coming out and shooting again and sharing my experience so basically i went inside and i told one of the one of the service guys the problem with the phone uh and he asked me to wait for like 10 to 15 minutes uh, after getting the token and stuff there were like 
five to six people. Uh, looks like a lot of people are having issues with Samsung phones. Uh, just kidding. It happens everywhere you go. So after my wait, I just handed the phone over to the to the service guy. He took it to the engineer and uh, ha had the phone checked. And uh, he came back and told me it would take just two hours to get the display replaced. And uh, the cost of the display though is not something I like. Uh, it's around 15,500 15, rupees. It's a two-year-old flagship phone. It's still a really good display. Uh, you know, it's a curved screen, so that also adds to the cost. It seems like uh, it's not just the display, but uh, there is also a separate repair repair kit uh, that's required to, uh, you know, for them to replace the display. And uh, of course, 18% GST. So uh, all inclusive, it's around 15,500. I told him to go ahead and uh, the, the best part about this is he said uh, since the display is in stock, he said it will take just two hours to get the screen replaced. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time. I cannot stay here for two hours. So I said I'll come back tomorrow and pick it up. That's, that's the experience so far. I'll update tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day two. Uh, day two it's it's such a vlogger thing to say <laughs> obviously it's day two if you have different clothes on um, anyway uh, it's around 11 30 a.m and i'm heading back to the service center uh, i don't have my editor with me uh, my editor and my videographer they're busy shooting for an important video so i don't want dis to disturb them so uh, i called the service center this morning they said the device is ready and i can go pick it up i just need to go make the payment and then uh, get the device back uh, I'll go there and uh, get the phone and then update you. Okay, first thing first, I got the phone. Uh, the display has been replaced and it's working perfectly fine. I'm very happy with the phone. There's that. But here's what really happened. So yesterday, I came here around 5 p.m. and I handed uh, the phone over to them. They said the phone will be ready by 7 p.m. yesterday. But I was busy yesterday, I had to go out, had a lot of work, so I thought I'd come back today uh, afternoon and pick it up. So that's the reason. Uh, so I came, I reached around 11.30 a.m., 11.30, 11.40 a.m. I was surprised to know that the, the device was not ready. I was like, dude, you said the phone would be ready by uh, 7 p.m. yesterday, so why is it still not ready? And he was like, sir, the phone is ready, but uh, we have to do some quality checking and stuff. So he asked me to wait for like 10 minutes. I said, okay, not a big deal, just 10 minutes, fine. But after 10 minutes, the guy came out and asked me to wait for another 20 minutes. That got me furious because he clearly said the phone would be ready by 7 p.m. yesterday. And why, why would he ask me to wait? Or at least if it's not ready, he should have called me. I mean, he asked me to, uh, you know, come to the service center at 7 p.m. yesterday. So obviously, I was assuming that the phone was already ready. I asked him why and he was like, so we have to do quality checking after the customer reaches the service center. I, I don't get the logic behind that. Why would that be even a rule? I said, I'll, I'll, I have a lot of work. I need to get back uh, to my office. And I asked them if they could deliver it to my place. Uh, he asked me to talk to one of his superiors. I said, dude, that's your job. You messed up, so you're the ones who's supposed to talk to the superior, not me. And uh, he was like, no, sir, please, please call. I got the number from him and I made a phone call. He attended the call. Apparently, he was just inside. He was coming out of the room. And I have no clue why. I mean, this guy could have spoken to him directly. Why ask me to call? I mean, they're in the same office. So anyway, the manager came out. He attempted to uh, ask me what was going on. And weirdly, this guy uh, who I was talking to earlier, he interrupted the conversation and said, no sir, this uh, the customer gave me the phone and uh, it's, it's almost ready sir, uh, we will take care. So then why ask me to, you know, talk to talk to the manager? Anyway, that's, that's the first thing. Next thing, uh, so he was like, the phone would be ready in like uh, five minutes. So I, I decided to wait, I had no other choice. But after five minutes, it still wasn't ready. I had to wait for another, 10 to 15 minutes. Now, during this time, I knew that you know net banking payment uh, will take at least like five to 10 minutes. Uh, I have to call, you know uh, make a phone call and get the payment done and all that. 
So I asked them for the payment details once again. Remember, I asked yesterday. I asked yesterday. Uh, you know, after reaching home, I also made a phone call and asked for the uh, payment details. I asked today morning as well, and before they gave me the phone, I asked them for the payment details again. But uh, they simply kept saying, "Yes, sir, we'll send it to your WhatsApp number," but they didn't. Now, what happened later? Uh, it was already late. We, uh, it, it was already like 12:15 uh, p.m. Almost uh, 30, 35 minutes since I reached the service center. And after they handed the phone over to me, after I checked it, they were like, uh, "The payment is still not done, so you will have to wait for another 10 minutes." I yelled at them again. I had no choice. I mean, I have been asking you for the payment details for the past, you know, you know what, for 12 hours. So after getting the payment details, I made the payment. Uh, and guess what? They asked me to wait for another five minutes because they wanted to see the amount reflecting in their bank account, which it would have, you know, uh, right away. But I don't know. They wanted more time to check or whatever. So I yelled again. I said, I cannot wait anymore. Uh, you don't have to give me the bill. I'll just take the device and leave. And uh, they were like, so no, sir, please, sir, wait. Uh, two minutes, two minutes, and all that. And uh, uh, they just asked me to send the screenshot of the payment that I made. I sent it and they were like, yeah, all right. they just uh, printed the bill and gave me and I just came out. Not a great experience. Finally leaving. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm audible right now. Uh, since my videographer is in here, I did not bring the camera. So I'm just shooting from my mobile phone. which is the OnePlus 8 Pro. And yeah, I'll also show you the phone. reached the studio and um, I actually forgot to mention one thing so yesterday uh, while handing the phone over to the service guys they asked me for the password for the for the pattern I had no idea why I asked them they said they uh, you know after fixing the phone after replacing the screen they would have to go to the settings and uh, do some stuff and you know uh, check the software and stuff I uh, maybe that's a policy maybe that's what they do for everyone I'm not sure just let me know in the comment section if you had a similar experience and you were also asked uh, you know the the password to your phone to enter your phone uh, the thing is maybe it's a policy and i trust samsung samsung will not do anything shady with my device even if i give them the password but the thing is i don't trust the guy sitting inside the workshop fixing my phone after opening the phone just open chrome go to the password section and you can find the password to all my online accounts be it Flipkart or Amazon uh, or even credit card details. So this is actually a huge risk. You're not supposed to give your password to anybody, let alone people sitting inside the service center fixing the phone, not in front of you. So that's something to keep in mind because I've been to other service centers like uh, OnePlus, Redmi. I have never been asked for the password to my phones. So this is something weird and I thought I should share with you. Uh, just, just stay uh, cautious uh, for this one thing. Okay, it's 4:45 p.m. I'm a little calm now. <laughs> yeah, it took about three hours. So yeah, I have mixed feelings. The work itself was good. The phone is perfect now. But will I pay a huge premium for a Samsung phone specifically because of better service? I don't think so. But guys. An important disclaimer here, these things vary from person to person, customer to customer, service center to service center. There are just so many factors involved and that's the reason some people have good experiences, some have bad experiences. Why I am saying this is, I want you guys to step in and comment below about your experience with the Samsung service center. Did you face any issue like I did or was it all very smooth? Let me know in the comments. As for my opinion, you saw what my experience was like. I'm happy with the end result. My dad's Galaxy S10 Plus has a brand new screen now. They didn't, they didn't mess up the work in any way. The screen also comes with 90 days of warranty, which is good. And in retrospect, I think overall it's fine, given that they took less than a day to replace the screen. Some brands take weeks to get it done. But the process itself was not great. Uh, the communication part was terrible. Not letting me know about the delay, asking me to wait after reaching the service center, not handling the payment process properly, 
and more importantly the fact that they asked for the password that was shady or even if it's a regular thing in service centers my opinion doesn't change i am absolutely against it they just need to open chrome and all your passwords are with them how is this even a legal practice i i i have no idea also do let me know if you want a similar video for other brands you know maybe uh um, Xiaomi service center Realme service center I don't have a Xiaomi or a Realme phone that's not working everything is working fine but maybe if you ask I'll try to break one of them and get it serviced those are my thoughts that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one bye and take care <laughs>